What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I wanted to cover this yesterday, but I fell asleep. I had Negroitis, ate a piece of chicken, nigga, and I just, I just couldn't do no celebrity junk today. I was tired. Uh uh. I was tired, brothers. Bruh. But I'm back at it again today because. I want to talk about WNBA star or former star rather Maya Moore now Maya Moore you know played at the legendary UConn they have a good men's and women's team but she was there all right for four years um, and then she was playing on the Minnesota Lynx where they won four titles all right they won four titles and and in that she had an epiphany Okay, she had an epiphany. The, the epiphany was that she would leave there and then, um, you know, go out in, in, into the criminal justice system and free people who have been incorrectly uh, charged with crimes. Now, we can debate if that's true or not, but the only thing that we can say is that she did that. All right, that is exactly what she did. Now, in doing so, she developed a relationship with uh, a man who was found not to be guilty and this particular brother's name is Jonathan Irons all right Jonathan Irons now we're gonna talk about brother Jonathan Irons he was wrongly convicted for I believe it was a murder and he was there for 23 years oh my god she got him free but not only did she get him free she ended up marrying him what all right now he is 40 she is 31 obviously the brother and many of and i believe that there are so many of our black men who are there uh in jail who have not done things i don't know the percentage but i i, I believe that it is probably over 10 percent she met him when when they were 18. she was 18 right she was doing a prison ministry and that's when she met him and they became deeper over time and all of that they developed a friendship over the last 13 years now meaning that she was at UConn for four of those years she was playing in the NBA for more of those years she was all over Europe and then she has to come back and marry marry Mr. Irons Bruh. who by his you know it's not his fault he, he didn't go to college he, he's not a person that is gonna be financially stable he's just you know he doesn't have any of these things going at least from what I think what that's told me is while you're celebrating the fact that she married a man in jail from prison that was that was that was free it also shows something else Maya Moore couldn't get anybody of value <laughs> it's not being negative it's just, it's just being truthful and guys I'm, I'm doing the best here hope the audio is good if it's not it'll be it'll be better next week all right but this is what we're talking about she couldn't do any better so you mean to tell me that while he's in prison not knowing that they're going to be together she isn't dating the, the issue is this She's six foot one. Damn! We're gonna talk about that. Many black women who are six foot one, five foot ten, five foot eleven, have hard times dating. All right, um, they just do. I, now, stop the show. I had something that was about six foot six foot one, and it was. <laughs> I was I was knocking it down. I was, I knocked it down a few times. But it's harder for them. Okay, it's harder for them. And. The reason why it's harder for them is because, you know, they're the athletes also. The male athletes that they will probably want to be with won't touch them. Like Paul George, who who who's a choker, by the way. He can't win anywhere. Kawhi Leonard, they're not gonna take they're gonna they're not looking for WNBA ladies, you know. The the basketball players don't like dating other athletes. That's one of the, the, the biggest things about female athletes, unless you're very, 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 very good looking. They're not gonna date you. I think she's fairly good looking. I mean, she she is weaving it up a little bit, but I mean, you know, she got you know got set up. Yeah, she she's not bad looking to me. I would date her. She's a sister. But for women athletes who are six foot one, they don't have many options. They're good athletes, but nobody looks at them and says, you know what, Maya Moore is what I want to deal with. I, I she's sexy to me. Guys don't look at her like that. But the guy who will look at her like that is the guy Jonathan Irons who was a 50-year prison thing like that's the best she can do and so what happened is 
is that's the best he can do for him is to come up. For her, it's a settle. And it's at age 31. 31. 31, family. Like, and this is, you know, really towards the middle of a woman's prime, going towards the end. But at 31, she's saying, you know what, I'm marrying a guy. And, and, and what people are doing here is people are trying to make this look good. You can't make this look good. You're taking care of this guy. All right? So, Maya Mora, listen to this. You will never, that guy you're marrying now, will never buy you a car. That guy will never buy you a house. That guy could never do the things for you that you probably deserve to have. And everybody's celebrating it. That should be a problem. Somebody with her status, her accomplishments, should be with the guy that's a, little, that's a lot better. The reason why it isn't better is because, for whatever reason, I believe... She messed up with some good guys she had the possibility to do. Because there are some brothers out there that would definitely think that she looks good to have money. In my opinion. Like, she's not like, oh my god, ugly nothing. No, I think that she's a, a, a fairly attractive sister. She just, you know, six foot one. But I don't, I don't think that that's the problem. What the problem is, is that for whatever reason, at this age, this was the best she was going to do. Or she at least believed, you know what? What we're going to do here is... We're, we're going to deal with the fact, and this is me saying this, don't get upset. You're going to deal with the fact that this guy is the best that you're going to be able to do, and you want to control a guy like this. And then it goes back to the idea that sisters, some of them, are looking for men that they, do, that, that they can control. Oh, hell no! That could be it. It certainly look like it, looks like this is the case here. Because if it's the guy... That's a doctor, lawyer, NBA player. Would a man marry a woman that he that he freed out of prison? No, because men have too many opportunities. This young lady doesn't have that many opportunities. I don't know if it's because she's an athlete or for whatever reason, or she's lacking confidence. But being an athlete is, is something that's hurting women. And as far as, if you have to do this, it's, it's, it's a problem. I know some guys are not gonna like this, but what it shows is that she hit the wall. Even if she didn't hit the wall and she made the decision, she hit the wall. Nobody will say to our daughter, we want you to marry a guy who wrongfully convicted can't take care of you. So that's just my two cents on it. I know some people will take it, you know, the hard way. It's, it, it's not to be meant that way. I believe what she's doing is a great thing. But I believe that the reason why she's going to where she's doing is because the other options are not there for her. I think what she's doing is beautiful. I think she's attractive to me. She should have came and got me. I would have married her ass, even though I'm broke. <laughs> but guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, guys, again, I'm working on the audio situation, right? I know I've been trolling you guys in the comments, but I'm waiting on my cloud lifter and my new uh, roadcaster to get here. This mic, for whatever reason, is just... Uh, Fall, it's fell off and I'm in Uganda right it takes like four weeks to get new stuff here so if it was if I was in Europe I had to fix automatically so you know how can you fix your audio when you're in Africa right I'm doing the best I can so guys it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode uh, 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 of the celebrity jump subscribe at the bell and guys I really appreciate all you're doing for me keep the keep subscribing check out the patreon all my other information there and as you know the buffoonery remains at an all-time high, I'm out.